Many of you may be gardening in containers for the first time and you want to save money on a budget. Today I'm going to show you how you can do that as such. So what I have is two containers and I have some things around me that are from my neighborhood and my family's garden. This is what we call a Hugo culture method that was created by the Germans. And basically they would just tell you just filling up your beds or raised beds in a sense. So how we're going to do this, and I like saying that this is a garden on the cheap method here. I like to use cardboard first and I clean out my containers very very thorough to make sure there's no bacteria, fungi, whatever that may be around the containers itself. And I'm gonna place my cardboard at the bottom. I don't use any metal, plastic, or anything as such because that can cause disease to your soil. Um, when you, especially when you have food involved, you don't want that. So it's, it's okay to use cardboard if you have to use the plastic, you know, make sure you wash it out thorough. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't, I wouldn't recommend brick if you're doing this in containers or uh, rocks because it's going to be extremely heavy. The next thing we do is layer us some branches, you know, it doesn't matter the really size, just make sure you measure it out or you break it, which are, you know, whatever. This is too hard to do that, so I'm going to be very careful. But fill it in here. You can use leaves you can use the wood chips you can use the branches you can use anything and then you can also use your compost now i have unfinished compost here that's not all fully broken down but as you can see guys look at that look amazing right so we're going on the cheap and we got worms and everything in here guys that's the beauty of compost Right, so this is gonna be some good rich soil, okay? It doesn't matter if you got branches still in here, guys. That's all right. It's all going in. This is all going to decay at a certain point. It'd be very beneficial to us in the long run, okay? And then, okay, because you might have to buy some potting soil or raised bed potting soil, it's good to just um, use that next. So, depending on how much you have to use, you may need at least a few bags of comp of your potting mix. Okay, so, what I'm going to do before I put this the remainder of our soil, I'm going to add some more of our compost here or soil. That's what it is. It's still soil, okay? And that is I don't know what that is. I gotta know. All right. Things happen, y'all. So. Unfortunately, I don't know how that got in there. That's a little piece of tape. And then what I'm gonna do, okay, measure it out real good. Boom, boom. That's done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my remainder of my potting soil. So you can, if you have mycorrhizae, go ahead and add that in the mix. Okay. then all you gotta do is plant. That is an easy, easy way to save money. And I still have some soil left. Now this was already used in my other container. So that's why I'm only, I had, that's why it's empty now. But, but just for demonstration guys, you can save a lot of money if you have all these things around you. And this will help benefit your garden and save you some money. I'm NJ Kelly Gardner. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.